welcome here to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Centre and JD MacArthur Arena here in lovely Owen Sound, Ontario. Down on the floor right now, we've got Owen Sound North Star Braden Kruger taking a ceremonial face-off here uh, in support of Chapman House. So they'll head back to the line and we'll stay down here on the floor for the playing of our national anthem. Arena after the ceremonial face-off and national anthem we are getting ready to start tonight's OLA Junior B match between the Owen Sound North Stars and the Point Edward Pacers. The North Stars just under 500 record at the moment and the the uh, Point Edward Pacers here having a, uh, a rough season to say the least uh, right now 0 and 13. Steve, it's, uh, we've got uh, one team struggling, another team looking to do a little better than maybe they have done already. Uh, what do you expect to see here this afternoon? Well, I would you know, certainly expect uh, Owen Sound to come up with confidence. You would hope that they don't come overconfident. I mean, uh, you know, the Pacers are certainly hungry. They have uh, a bit of a short bench, but nonetheless, the guys that did come here, they didn't come for the trip to... Uh, to uh, pass this one up. So I would hope that uh, both teams come to play and uh, we'll, uh, if you're in Owen Sound shoes, you certainly want to make sure you take this one and rack it up in the wing column so they can uh, at least solidify seventh and not have to face Six Nations early in the playoffs. Yeah, you can see there Owen Sound five and seven after 12 games looking tonight to improve to six and seven. And as we mentioned, the Pacers 0 and 13, Six Nations as it was mentioned there, holding on to that number one spot at 13 and 0. So the opposite record here of the Pacers that the North Stars are playing here at the Bayshore. Opening face off there, one back for the North Stars. Kruger taking that into the offensive zone, passing that off to Morrison. Morrison going up high for Stevenson. Moran, shot here. Good save there. Starting goalie number 45, Austin Dalgetty, getting settled into this game. And on the bench right now is uh, backup goalie, former North Stars goalie, William Hellier. And a breakaway here, shot. And a good save there from Dalgetty. Yeah, I'm not sure. He might have got a piece of that with his shoulder. It definitely rang off the crossbar, so. Uh... Owen Sound with the ball, sending that wide. Arnold, shot. That's going to go up and out of play. So the Pacers will be granted possession here and play back on. Well, the Pacers without their leading scorer, number three, Brett Vince, this afternoon. So their current leading scorer on the floor, number five, Zach Snyder, brought the ball into the offensive zone. Tries to set a pick there. Swinging out front. Adams with it. Long shot there and a good save by Miles Plater. 
as he faces his first shot of the game. Both goalies now settled in here. Morrison sending that up the floor. Cochran with it. Sending that low, Moran in front. Can't get that to go. Pacers up the floor now. Moran playing high for a minute, heading off to change. Swings that, sends that over to Snyder who can't handle that pass. And Owen Sound trying to pick this one up. Bouncing ball gets knocked loose. And picking that back up is Owen Pryor. Throwing that up the floor. Thompson sends that across. Martin tries to find Cochran on that one. And can't get that one to go. Coughlin with it. Long shot here. Goes wide and Bryce Martin unable to find that one and sends a fake shot as the ball goes back to the Pacers. Zach Snyder up the floor for the Pacers. Sends that ball low. Cuts in front. Good shot and a good save there from Miles Plater. Snyder back with it. Sends that down low for Stewart. Adam. Sends that low, Snyder with it along the boards. Getting battled by Trent Beasel. And we're gonna get a call here that's gonna go against the North Stars for high sticking. So off to the box there is number 17, Travis Morrison. He'll sit for a couple of minutes, battling with uh, Zack Snyder there along the boards and gets a stick up in the face. And the Pacers will get the first opportunity of the game here on the power play. Despite being a low scoring team, not too bad here on the power play. So we'll have to wait and see how this one shakes up. Snyder sends that low. Snyder back with it, cuts around. Sends out wide, down low, up top and a long shot. It's gonna go wide and bounce all the way back down into Owen Sound zone. Kill a few seconds here for the North Stars. And Owen Sound will be given possession here as Arnold scoops that up in the offensive zone. Arnold swings out front, up high, doesn't have a lane to cut back in, so he'll hold on to it. And now he's got a clear lane to the front, hard shot. And that's gonna go wide off the backboards, pick back up in the offensive zone. Knocked loose, Owen Sound bouncing the ball around and picked up by Austin Dalgetty. Yeah, the C sort of parted the way there for uh, uh, Curtis Arnold and he walked right in and uh, unfortunately couldn't uh, find the top corner and missed the net, but uh, great opportunity shorthanded. Sends that up high. Stewart across. Down low, picked up by Broompton. Hard shot's gonna go wide, and the shot clock will end in Owen Sound now with possession and just under 30 seconds on the shot clock, just over on the penalty kill. So Owen Sound will be able to kill this down to a couple of seconds left and take this back into even strength if they're able to hold on to the ball here in the offensive zone. And a hard battle there from Calvin Stewart, draws a whistle, and Owen Sound will be given possession. So Owen Sound's gonna make a quick change here. And they are gonna give a penalty to uh, the Pacers. Looking like delay of game, so Owen Sound uh, back to even strength, kind of. We're gonna go four on four for 14 seconds and then Owen Sound North Stars will have a power play after that. 
quarterbacking this one is number three leading scorer, Carter Moran. Coglin to Moran. Back to Coglin. Owen Sound back to even strength. Bringing out number 25, Holden Stevenson. Coglin across to Moran. Stevenson with a good pick. And a good shot there from Moran. Long shot from Coglin. Can't reset the clock. So the Pacers will have possession here. Up the floor. Zack Snyder breaking in with some speed there. Slowed up by Kruger. And doing what he can here to now kill off their penalty. Happy to waste as much time here. Shot clock with about five seconds left. Snyder will cut in, see if he can reset it. And that's going to go wide. So Owen Sound will be given possession here. And that's going to flip forward up to Moran. Moran across the floor finds Coglin. Coglin finds Cochran down low here. Shot through the five hole. Can't get that one to go. Good attempt there from Stevenson. Stevenson still looking for his first point of the year here. Coglin sends that low. Finds Moran. Moran cuts, spins, hard shot, tries to go far post. Can't get it to go. Coglin picks it up and Cochran with a hard shot. Stevenson in front and he scores for his first goal of the season. Number 25, Holden Stevenson picking up the rebound and able to bounce that down and through the wickets to open the scoring here at the Bay Shore and gets himself on the score sheet for the first time this year. He's got to be feeling good about that. You can see the replay here, just picks up that bouncing shot. And a great shot, starts high, finishes low. Just the way he probably dreamed about. Thompson winning that forward for the North Stars. Sends that over for Noah Hemstock. Moran with it. Across, hard shot. And a good save there from Dalgetty. Good shot from Tyson Morrison from far. Snyder trying to run this one up himself. Moran doing a good job at zoning him out. Pacers here with it, up to Snyder, long shot. And a good save there from Miles Plater, able to get his twig down and stop that one from rolling through the feet. Yeah, you can certainly see why the Pacers struggle to score. Um, they, they set up real wide, all perimeter passing and uh, and settle for uh, settle for shots from distance. They're gonna need to get inside if they uh, expect to beat uh, Miles Plater here tonight. up there for the Pacers. Looking, swinging out front. Sends a low pass there, and Snyder picking that one up, spinning, cuts to the middle. A good shot there and a good save by Miles Plater. That one had eyes for the back of the net, and he was able to just get his foot out in time. So Thompson carrying this one in. Hemstock staying wide, tries to cut to the middle, sends that up top for Moran. Thompson down low, good stick there, prevents Bryce Martin from picking that one up. And now in all alone, Pacers shot. And a great save by Miles Plater. Fantastic run there by Ryder Haynes. Oh, Plater got a little aggressive on his, uh, trying to pick the defender coming around the back of the net, chasing the Owen Sound player in transition. And they turned it over, but here we go in transition the other way with Owen Sound. Arnold with some speed, decides to go all the way. Good shot there. Bouncing ball finds its way behind the knee of Austin Delgetti, and he scoops that off to his defenders and sends that up. 
Yeah, Kruger's been quite a force in transition the last couple of weeks after uh, starting the season with with uh, nothing to show for it in the goal column. Uh, he got another great opportunity there in transition. Snyder holding on to this one. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. So on sound being given possession after that whistle. Sends that forward and finds Cochran. Cochran looking across the floor. Finds Morrison. Morrison tries to send that into the middle. Cochran going to find it now. Over to Moran. Moran long shot. Off the toe there of Dalgetty resets the clock. Has to battle for this one in the corner. Picks that up, sends it across to Cochran, bouncing shot. Doesn't make contact with anybody, so yeah, Snyder no, picking this a, one up. That's an ill-advised shot with 25 seconds on the uh, shot clock from, again, way up top. Uh, I didn't get much on it. Snyder spinning, trying to cut to the front. Unable to get his way there. So he'll try a backhanded shot and a good save there by Miles Plater, good positioning. And Owen oh, Sound is gonna go to the power play here as there's a delayed penalty call against the Point Edward Pacers. Sends that one in low. Good shot there from Hemstock. And Delgetti is able to go down to stop that one from rolling in. So we'll take a look here at what the referee has to say. And it's gonna be an interference call, it looks like. Yeah, I certainly didn't uh, catch that on the initial play, so uh, we'll take the referee's word for it. There was a, an interference call that warranted a two-minute penalty, and uh, Owen Sound will try their luck on the power play one more time. Moran will quarterback this one again. Cochran sends it up top for Moran. Across for Coughlin. Coughlin finds Cochran. Cochran cuts in. Good shot there. Able to reset the clock and maintain possession. Cochran to Moran. Moran. Cochran back up top. Moran to Coughlin. Carter Moran shot. Good save from Delgetti. Resets the clock and Owen Sound holds on to possession again. This is exactly what they're looking for. Coughlin across, finds Cochran. Cochran cuts in, low shot. And the Pacers can't hold on to this one, but moving it forward still. Ryder Haynes sends that up top. Able to hit Adams with it. Adams holding on. Adams around the back of the net, along the boards, just trying to hold on to the ball and kill as much time as he can. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Getting shoved and sends that shot wide, so Owen Sound will get possession here with 46 seconds left in the power play. Yeah, let's see if they can't uh, get down here with plenty of time to set up and uh, run a play here on uh, the power play here. Coglin. Moran, shot. Arnold fighting for the rebound there. Morrison in now. Arnold still battling, Morrison still battling. Delgatti comes out of his net to find it. Yeah, and if you're successful here in clearing the zone in 10 seconds, this should just be about the end of the power play for Owen Sound. Unfortunately, they uh, couldn't muster much of an offense there. Armstrong carrying this one up. Over to Snyder. Snyder cutting around, finds his way in front, shot, scores! Zach Snyder tying this game up one apiece with a great individual effort to cut out there in front of the net, beating his defender. Calvin Stewart getting caught flat-footed there, and Zach Snyder tying this game up and getting the Pacers on the board. Yeah, as a defender, you never want to get beat underneath, down low by the net, or over top out in the shooting area. He, uh, 
took Calvin Stewart there, and the help came late, and uh, did a great job not going in the crease, tiptoeing along the line, and uh, dragging across the net until he had full cage to shoot at. So, outstanding effort. So, North Stars and Pacers here, tied 1 1 in Owen Sound. Long shot, bounces off of a defender, and Plater doesn't see that one go by him, but flies by without much danger. Snyder with a weak shot there, and right off the logo of Miles Plater. Thompson with the ball. Thompson holding it, sends that across for Coughlin. Coughlin swings, picking that up is Cochran. Cochran spins, reverses around the back. Hard shot off a defender and wide. Cochran picks that one back up. Long shot. And Bryce Martin can't deflect that one, so the Pacers get it as the shot clock runs out. Owen McDermott flips that over. Pacers moving up the floor now. Across. Adams cuts in. Can't get the shot away. Keeps his feet out of the crease and sends that back up top. Pacers long shot. And Plater picking that up. Sends a long pass out there. Can't handle it. Calvin Stewart able to pick it up off the bounce. And he's going to cut right to the front of the net. Takes a hard shot. And he can't get that one to go. Pacers moving quickly up the floor. Graham Armstrong sends that one over to Connor Adams. Across loses that one. Brimpton can't get a good shot away, and Plater will send that back up. Kruger, good shot, and a good save by Austin Dalgetty. Yeah, most of Owen Sound's offense now is just coming through the transition game, which is uh, never a bad thing, but you certainly uh, want to see them uh, be able to do a much better job when they get into their five-on-five -five sets uh, on a team that's allowed well over 200 goals uh, you know, in 13 games. So. Pacers throw that wide. Long shot there, saved easily by Plater. And Owen Sound now transitioning back up the floor with some speed. Thompson slowing things down here. Moran back with it. Moran can't find a lane. Cochran can't handle that one, and it's going to go all the way back into Owen Sound zone. We've got a delayed penalty call here. Long shot. And we're going to get a penalty going against the uh, Pacers here, and is it too many men, it looks like? It does look too many men. Again, uh, I was not, uh, I didn't see the sixth guy out there. Obviously, he might have been out there and then retreated to the net. I retreated to the bench, pardon me, and uh, they don't seem to be objecting, so uh, they, they very well may have had six guys defending. So now they'll have four. <laughs> Carter Moran, he will be quarterbacking this uh, power play here for the Owen Sound North Stars. Coglin to Moran. Moran with it, playing catch with Coglin. Back and forth they go. Moran cuts around a defender. High shot, can't get that one to go. It's going to bounce off the goalie up and out of play. So they'll reset the clock and maintain possession exactly what you're looking for here on the power play. Moran with it, down low. And Stevenson can't hold on to that one. Moran. Down low, Cochran with a shot, and he scores! Right over the shoulder of Austin Dalgetty from distance by Jordan Cochran. Yeah, nice shot there. Again, a little bit of crisp ball movement. Um, did make it way down to the crease, back up and around, and uh, Cardinal Moran fed Cochran in the... Uh, 
Did a good job going far side, I think just inside the post, and they're rewarded here on the power play. You can see lots of back and forth passing on that play between Carter Moran and uh, Joel Coughlin, and then all of a sudden, Joel Coughlin decides to pass right by Carter Moran and able to find. Yep, Joel Coughlin made a real nice skip pass there, and uh, you know, caught the defenders uh, leaving that lane open for Co or for Cochran to uh, let her rip. Going down there is uh, a North Star holding his head a little bit, but looks to be okay. Yeah, there was a pretty aggressive cross check that slid up and got the uh, Owen Sound player in the, yes. the uh, head. And now, of course, Owen Sound's going to get a penalty Looks like something probably not nearly as egregious. Looks like Bryce Martin perhaps taking matters a little bit too far into his own hands. But we will wait and see after this whistle who actually gets that penalty. Long shot there after the shot clock. And we're gonna get a high sticking call against Bryce Martin. I, I can't say I saw that one. We'll have to take a look at the replay. Certainly had a stick one-handed and trying to get a bit of a, a backswing there on his uh, defensive slashes, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look at this one here and see if we can see the same thing that uh, referee Brown saw. It got a little bit high there on the back swing, but no, there was no high stick there. They we wanted to call the slash that might be uh, might be something, but certainly no high stick. Snyder with it. Good save there by Plater. And trying to find Trent Beasel loses it, but picked up safely Owen Pryor. Pryor tries to send that one up and does. Connects with talk, Granger talk around. Well, I think the referees might be get, getting paid by the penalty tonight because here comes another delay call. So, uh... Cochran behind the back. Can't get that one to go, but Austin Delgetti just barely getting his heel on that one. So, a good attempt there. And a penalty coming for too many men on the floor again. So, another undisciplined call. No, uh, not a not a penalty of passion, certainly. Just a penalty of some sloppy transitions. So Jackson Lucas is gonna serve that one for two minutes and we'll get a minute and 10 seconds of four on four play. The four on sound goes to a short power play. Stevenson across for Cochran, back to Stevenson. Arnold tries to find Coglin, can't. Along the boards there, Pacers pick it up. And Sound battling with them, picking that back up. Ryder Haynes, and he'll flip that one off for Connor Adams. Sends that low. Pacers try to go back door. Adams can't get the shot away, so he holds on to it. He's got Snyder open, but he's looking towards the net instead. One second left. And, uh, a real good job by Travis Morrison there to, again, not let the player get underneath. And they're going to score on the play, but they're going to blow that one dead. So Owen Sound not being credited with that fantastic run there by Braden Kruger. Yeah, they were found guilty of too many men on the offensive possession. And although it's not a power play, it does negate the goal and turn possession back over. But uh, just as the period ended, so. So Owen Sound heading into this first intermission up by a goal. And in uh, after seven seconds of the second period, we'll find themselves up by a man. We will be right back after this short break with an interview with Ryder Haynes, number 19 for the Point Edwards. Pacers. Every year, dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit stoptracktragedies.ca.
I'm a singer-songwriter from Six Nations and I've been writing songs about my experience and with that being said it's helped me hold hope in my heart in following my dreams and being resilient to everyday Indigenous battles. Competition between spirit, earth and wind, let me tell you now. This song in particular, The Shiner, is a special song that I wrote for my grandfather. He was a snow snake maker, and that is a Haudenosaunee winter sport. It's my job to educate and to share, and the music allows me to do that. He'll be shining snow snakes and mud cats to the end of his days. Lovely viewers, it's your host of On The Couch, Antoine El Hashim, reminding you to tune in for every episode of season nine of the longest running and most loved local queer talk show on Rogers TV. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bayshore Community Centre in J.D. MacArthur Arena. I'm joined here by Point Edwards number 19, Ryder Haynes. Ryder, it's been a tough season so far for Point Edwards here, and what are you guys looking for this evening to turn this game around? Um, definitely big defense tonight. I think that's one of our main things. We got a lockdown on defense. We got the offense most games. I just think, yeah, lockdown on defense. We should be good. Awesome, and hey, some new additions to the team, yourself included, one of those. How big is that for Point Edwards? I mean, I think it's pretty big. I love playing here. It's it's so fun, and I just think every, everybody on the team likes me, and I like everybody on the team. Awesome, and first season here with Point Edwards, what does it mean to you? How How is the feeling in the locker room with these guys? Um, to be honest, I'm always nervous. Like. I don't want to underperform because I'm always nervous that my teammates will be mad at me, but that's never the case. It's so nerve-wracking playing in the in Junior B games. Awesome. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned here on Rogers TV for the next period of play. Are you the type who would keep going or stop? It's not easy to stop when you have an addiction. Legalizing cannabis won't stop addiction. It trivializes its consumption. Let's be vigilant. If you need help, visit portage.ca. After a night out with your friends, there's always options for getting home safely. You could call your BFF, your mom or dad, whoever you can count on for a safe ride home. You could call your favorite cab company or one taxi guy or you could use the Arrival Live smartphone app to help you choose your ride. Be it a friend, transit, or taxi, getting home safely is app easy. Now available for iOS and Android devices. Visit arrivealive.org to find out more. Arrive Alive, drive sober. But he's, uh, you know, taking up some space. And a, just a perfect shot. And we got a tie ball game. It's nice low shot right around. Right around for Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the booth here at the Bayshore Community Center in J.D. MacArthur Arena. I'm joined here with my co-host, Steve McCarthy. Uh, Steve, we're looking at uh, a pretty low score here, and I don't think either of us were expecting this going into this period. No, there certainly was uh, very little uh, offense generated by either club, five on five. I mean, uh, uh, Owen Sound did, I think, get both their goals on the power play. Uh, but, you know, I think, uh, again, we talked a little bit before the game about whether to be overconfidence or not. And, uh, 
you know, it may very well have been the case because they certainly uh, they had a few opportunities. But, you know, for a team that uh, allows, you know, close to 20 goals against the game, you would expect that there would be a little bit more uh, crispness and uh, willing to, uh, you know, pay the pay the price to get to the net and uh, put it home. So, of course, North Stars, the last couple of games, their offense has struggled, scoring seven goals in one game, six in another, really not getting those double digit numbers that you're expecting from a winning team what do you think they need to do differently here well again they need they need to share the ball they need to work uh work hard off ball and not just work for the sake of working but but have a plan when they come out the door talk amongst themselves before they're going out listen to what their coaching staff is asking them to execute and then focus on that just don't freelance every time out because it tends to the ball ends up in somebody's stick the other four guys watch and uh you know, then they end up settling for, you know, less than opportune uh, shots on goal. So, Well, Miles Plater, he looked pretty good there in that first period. He made some big saves. Of course, he let that one in, but really a, a fantastic individual effort uh, by Zack Snyder to just get around all the defenders. Of course, Stewart was caught flat-footed. You talked about the support, came in a little bit late. So Plater really, although being beat once, looked pretty solid in that period. Yeah, he, again, stood tall. I mean, the uh, Pacers aren't providing much of a, an offensive threat either. There are a lot of, you know, perimeter passing, uh, not much work off ball either, and they're settling for the long 40, 50-foot shots. So, you know, Miles Plater, uh, you know, certainly is well-equipped to stop those. So, you know, but, uh, awesome. yeah, they're going to want to pick that up and... Uh, uh, continue to uh, work hard against Owen Sound because they're up against it without their leading score in the lineup. Absolutely, yeah, the, the Pacers without uh, Brett Vince, so they're going to need to really step this up, and Owen Sound has to find that success five on five. So we will be right back after this short break, and we will see how both of these teams fare in the second period. What kind of show do you want to see on Rogers TV? What interests you? Log on to RogersTV.com, fill out a show proposal, and tell us about your segment idea. We want to know what you want to see. Rogers TV, only on Rogers. Leonard Thompson, 13 years old, diabetes mellitus, 65 pounds. Starve the child to let them live. The treatment's as cruel as the disease. It's a death sentence. Dr. Banting. This could be it. He's the first to receive this trial. But will it save him? It's not pure enough. So we try again. And again. And again. Before the discovery of insulin, diabetes was a death sentence. Banting, Best, Collop, and McLeod's breakthrough has saved millions of lives. Leonard Thompson's was the first. October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks, and it shattered her world. <laughs> Gentlemen, we'd like to uh, thank Pizza Hut for supporting all of us here at Rogers TV by providing our crew refreshments. Uh, if you'd like to order from Pizza Hut over on 10th Street in Owen Sound, you can call them at 519-371-5660 or visit them at www.pizzahut.ca. Once again, thank you Pizza Hut for providing all of our refreshments here at the Bayshore. Well, both teams taking the floor here, four on four. You'll notice not five players out there. Two are going to be in the box for the next few seconds at least. Owen Sound, seven seconds, and uh, they will be back out on the floor. Bryce Martin, you can see a hand already on that gate, getting ready to go. He's ready to jump out and help his team pull ahead a little bit more than they already are. So it looks like Moran is going to start 
on the bench, or at least relay a message to the coaches. And lining up at the faceoff dot there, we've got Elliot Thompson ready to try to win this one back for Owen Sound against Graham Armstrong. And Armstrong doing his namesake well and winning that, but Owen Sound with it, and low shot there, good save. Delgetti looking strong. Another good run by Braden Kruger, who you saw at the end of the period there scoring, but not counting on the scoreboard because Owen Sound was uh, told they had too many men on the floor. So back now are Owen Sound defending, but with five men on the floor against the four-man squad of the Point Edward Pacers. Owen Sound picks that one back up. Snyder unable to knock that one loose. And Schneider looked like he attempted to pass it off the uh, back glass to himself, and uh, he's already shown to be pretty crafty by scoring the Pacers' only goal, so I wouldn't put it past him. That's what his intent really was there. Coglin with a low shot there, unable to get it to go, and a couple slashes later, this one's gonna, and oh, we got a, a <laughs> bit of a domino effect there. That was a hard stick by Holden Stevenson. I hope he gets credited with two hits there on that play. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, generally a uh, contact like that, especially on the back, is gonna result in a possession call, but uh, the referees uh, let it go. Well, I suppose mm -hmm. if you can't get to the ball carrier, you use whatever means are in your way. And well, as long as they're consistent, let it go both ways throughout the game. I don't think either team would protest uh, some physicality. Uh, it's just when it gets called once and then gets called different the next time that gets frustration boiling. Some Pacers and North Stars battling along the boards. The shot clock will run out and Owen Sound will pick it up. Thompson sending that over to Carter Moran. Moran down low for Thompson, across, finds Coglin out in front, gets deflected up and out of play, so Owen Sound will maintain possession with a fresh shot clock. Morrison cuts in, and that one's gonna go wide. Owen Sound tries to pick this one up. Coglin can't get there in time, bouncing ball. Picked up by the Pacers, it's still loose. Tyson Morrison able to find it, and sends that up for Carter Moran. Down low for Thompson. Cuts to the front of the net here. Good shot off the mask of the goalie. And up off the backboards. Did not go out of place, so here go the Pacers in all alone. Shot, good save by Miles Plater on the breakaway. Yeah, Ryder Haynes had a 150-foot breakaway there and uh, made a nice move, nice little fake, but uh, Plater was uh, stood tall, got the glove out there and made it kind of look easy. Arnold in, good shot. You heard there in our first intermission in the interview with Ryder Haynes, who just had that breakaway for the Pacers, that he's really looking to impress his teammates, doesn't want to let them down, and certainly this game so far, he has had some of the most jump on his team with a couple of breakaways already. I can't imagine there's a single player on the Pacers team that would be disappointed with the play of number 19, Ryder Haynes, here this afternoon. Adam spinning off that check. Good shot and a better save by Miles Plater, able to get the shoulder up. Yeah, that was a real good look by the Pacers. Uh, got it to the guy cutting down low underneath and uh, you know, another big save by Plater. So you know, the Pacers have come to play and they're certainly looking for that first win of the season. Tyson Morrison around the back there. Can't come down with it. Coglin trying to get it. Gets hit from behind, goes into the crease. So we'll get a, a dead ball and Owen Sound will be given possession here with a fresh clock. Hemstock. Morrison. Travis Morrison cuts in. High shot there, good save by Delgetti. And Delgetti's looked pretty good in there today. Uh, hasn't had a ton of real dangerous uh, shots, but uh, the uh, situation is uh, you know, they're not under control for him for the most part, other than a couple power play goals. Pacers here with the ball in the offensive zone. And that shot's gonna go wide. Oh, and sound, Ethan Kerr with it. Sends that wide, 
Bounces back and the Pacers pick it up. Kerr and Moran trying to stop this rush by Zack Snyder. Can't get it, pass across to Adams. Adams spins, gets in front, high shot. And that's gonna go off the crossbar, it looks like, and up out of play. Uh, they'll say it went off the goalie, so Pacers are gonna keep possession here with a fresh clock. Adams up to Snyder. Snyder sends that across. Both teams looking, long shots. Right into the breadbasket there of Miles Blader, able to catch that one and keep it from any sort of danger. Yeah, they'll likely be the, uh, the focus here as we get another power play uh, coming up for, for Owen Sound. Caught out in front. Cochran with a great shot and another too many men penalty for the uh, Point Edward Pacers. They are struggling here on this defensive transition and consistently sending players out early. So it looks like we're gonna get a, a short stoppage here in play. Both teams needing, uh, needing a moment, I suppose. And there's, uh, you can see Austin Dalgetty. And oh boy, you look at your, your floor there. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight players out on the floor at the same time there. That's uh, close to half the bench there for the Pacers this afternoon, but just one call on the play. So the Pacers will be. Uh, the referee is exercising his uh, right to dish out more penalties as he's now given a two minute unsportsmanlike conduct. And again, they, they certainly uh, were full value for the too many men, but generally that, that call is made in transition when a defender has been put out early to break up a transition opportunity. Uh, there was no such opportunity for, or for uh, Owen Sound in that case. It was just three guys lollygagging and getting off the floor and uh, probably didn't need to be called. That's the frustration from the Point Edwards point of view. And a hard hit there. Delgetti coming out of his net. And uh, that's going to cause Owen Sound to get the ball. So Coughlin with it. Five on three for two minutes. Owen Sound four deep and one defender. Coughlin, hard shot, can't find it. And that's going to be flipped over the back and able to pick that up as Calvin Stewart. So keeping this one alive, good work by him. Cochran with it. Finds Coglin. Coglin to Cochran. Back door and a great save by Austin Delgetti coming across to stop that backdoor shot. Fantastic side to side motion there. That was it was a great save because it was uh, a well set up play. They really moved the ball great. Gave Arnold a great look on the on down low and uh, Delgetti came from nowhere to take that away. Arnold with another hard shot there and that one's blocked in front. So Coglin comes up with it. Owen oh, Sound. Needs to be careful here. There we go. They got their players on. No calls on the play. Yeah. And, and that, well, that that was probably not any less uh, egregious than this Point Edward player. There's the Owen, fifth Owen Sound player was far from the change box when the uh, one released out of the front end of the offensive box. So luckily both referees are looking at the ball there at the moment and Owen Sound kind of getting away with a call there. Pacers with the ball. And with some speed, knocked loose there by Morrison. And Owen Sound being given possession here, so. Yeah, Titus Hayes uh, didn't didn't vacate the defensive zone within the 10 seconds there, so they you know, get the ball back in Owen Sound's hands here with the five on three. Moran finds Arnold down low here. Morrison tries to go up over the shoulder, can't get it to go. Trying to knock it loose here is Moran, and Moran's got a stick right up in his neck there. Yeah, that would uh, certainly would have qualified for a holding penalty there. Uh, again, um, referee, referees being a little inconsistent on the, uh, the distribution of penalties here, but uh, Arnold able to pick that one up and keep his foot out of the uh, out of the crease, and a long shot here, a rather a long run, and can't find the back of the net. So Owen Sound. Having a five on three opportunity for two full minutes, a very rare opportunity. And 
unfortunately not coming up with anything. So both teams struggling offensively. Yeah, and Owen Sound had probably a, a minute 45 of that possession too. Uh, you know, uh, Point Edward did not advance into the Owen Sound zone during that entire power play and uh, they were still managed to kill it off. Picking it up here, Pacers drop that one. Picking it up is Adams. Adams keeps his feet out of the crease, but can't beat the shot clock. So the North Stars sending this up and referee breaking up a play here between uh, Calvin Stewart and one of the... Uh, one I of think the that might be Zach Snyder, who I'm sure uh, gets his fill of frustration being kind of a one-man show here on this uh, Point Edward team today without his uh, counterpart... Fred Vince, those two are their two top scorers, and uh, he's pretty much on, a, on an island today by himself. So, so Zach Snyder, and we'll send uh, Calvin Stewart as well there to the box. We'll get some four-on-four -four play. Both teams having a little more room to move there. And Carter Moran with a great goal. Picks that shot up, runs in, and sends that off the far post. Bounces that one in and puts the North Stars up by two goals, 3-1. Again, if we could get to see Owen Sound play at that offensive pace there, uh, good things will happen for them. Carter Moran really came hard, beat his, beat his guy up top, came over the top, and uh, the ball was there, and uh, he made no mistake putting it away. Yeah, Moran really getting lost up there and able to find his way in. Pacers with it. Sends that across. Down low here, Adam with it. Knocked loose. Picked back up by Owen Sound or both teams battling hard. They're gonna get a stoppage in play there after a really hard hit. Kruger. Sends that one down low for Moran. Moran. Across. Coglin trying to pick that one up and can't get a stick on it. And now we've got another penalty here. Another too many men call that's going to go against the Pacers yeah, for they, the fourth time. <laughs> they do have five defenders when it's four on four. So this is, uh, without a doubt, too many men. Yeah, that, that might have been, uh, maybe maybe that one was almost more on the referees for not catching it early enough. <laughs> yeah, they did uh, pretty much go through a good, good portion of the shot clock, at least 13 seconds, I think, before uh, the arm went up, but they got it right. Well, I suppose if you can get away with it for that long, you give it a try. Yeah, and you know, when you get in that position, the best thing is not to run to the bench and draw attention. So. Uh, if you're going to get the deuce for playing with too many men, play with too many men. Ran across to Coglin. Coglin, low shot. Still looking for his 20th point of the season. And Beasel can't pick that one up. So Owen Sound, four on three right now. And Moran sends that one in. Cochran to Moran. Morrison with a pick, Moran shot. It's gonna go wide, now there's a foot race here. Pacers are gonna get to it. Plater out of his net, and he's able to play that one wide. That was a very close call there. And Moran gonna send that long shot in. Great play by the goalie, and they're gonna score right over the head, Travis Morrison. That was, uh, again, a Kind of a lucky bounce. Carter Moran let one go from about 80 feet out. It hit the knob of the goaltender's stick as he ducked, uh, allowing them to get a reset. And uh, there was no defender there to uh, cover Travis Morrison, who uh, had all day to uh, dick, dupe, and dive and uh, put it home. You can see that one there bouncing off the goaltender just barely. He tried to duck to get out of the way as well so that the clock would reset. Really a, a smart play by him, keeping an eye on the shot clock as well as the shooter, but couldn't get the knob of a stick out of the way, resets the clock, and 
Travis Morrison picking up that pass in front of the net all alone. And you don't really want to leave Travis Morrison all alone in front of the net with a ball. Thompson battling hard, picked up there by Braden Kruger. Kruger opting to run up himself. Sends that one forward for Arnold. Arnold cuts to the front, hard shot, and he finds the back of the net. Austin Delgetti looking handcuffed on that one, didn't react at all. And Curtis Arnold just Solo effort there, picking up the ball from Braden Kruger and taking it in all by himself. Looking, you can see him here, he's looking for a pass, doesn't see anything, decides, all right, there's a great pick for me from Travis Morrison who just scored. So I guess I'll go in and take the shot and he finds the back of the net. Yeah, I don't know if Del Getty was expecting a pass to come uh, out. He certainly was not at a good angle. He didn't drive hard, which he usually does to get to the front of the net, he just kinda, Soft toss, one to the short side top corner, and uh, it found a hole. Well, Owen Sound looking a little bit more dangerous here in the second period, going 20 minutes scoring two goals, and now going 11 minutes and scoring three, so. And uh, the Pacers are gonna get another call here. This one, I don't think will be for too many men. Yeah, I think this is, uh, again, the referees are calling the guy that retaliated, but there certainly was two players engaged, and uh, he probably could have let it go. He took a pretty hard cross check across the front of the chest and retaliated with a big whack, and uh, he's going to be the one that uh, sits in the box. So I go Graham Armstrong sitting for two minutes, and Travis Morrison drawing that penalty. He's doing a little bit of everything tonight. Big, big picks and big goals and drawing calls and just generally trying to get under the Pacers' skin here. Moran finds Morrison. Morrison cuts to the front. Pick back up. Moran with it. Arnold sends that one towards the net and deflects wide, and it'll go all the way down into the North Star zone. Plater sends that up for Moran. Moran brings that one in, and a long shot, he scores! Well, they make quick work of that power play. So, uh, big explosion here in offense for the Owen Sound uh, North Stars here in the second period, aided by a few power play opportunities. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for the Pacers, after a pretty good showing in the first period, they've fallen into old habit here and uh, letting this game get out of reach. Now, of course, this is a... Uh looking like a misconduct call, so the, the penalized player not coming out of the box after that goal. Morrison battling hard. Rather Thompson winning that one. Ethan Kerr with it. Carter Moran, a couple of goals this afternoon with the ball. Looking for another one here on the power play. Sends that to Arnold. Back to Moran. Finds Arnold again. High shot. That one's going to go wide and up and out of play. So the Pacers catching a bit of a break there. They will get the ball in the defensive zone. And they're going to try to kill as much time as they can. They still have quite a bit of time left in this penalty. Pacers sending a long one in there, and it bounces off the back of the goalie and in. Miles Plater not up against his net, and what a goal from Connor Adams. He sends that one in from, well, close to 100 feet there, bounces it off the, the boards. It's going to hit the back of Miles Plater and find the back of the net. We'll see a replay here. You can see he's almost at the, the line there, sends that all the way back, and it's going to go right off the back of the uh, back of the arm there 
And Miles Plater knocking that one into his own net. You do not see a goal like that very often. No, we've seen a couple goals now this period with the, where the backboards have come into play. And uh, I'm sure Miles would like to have that back. But, uh, you know, he's been lulled to sleep this period. And, uh, and uh, you know, he suffered, suffered a tough one on, as a result. I suppose we can call it even there with the backboards. And both teams reaching for it. Stevenson coming up with it. Morrison sends that one in. Can't find the back of the net. Looking for number two, and he's going to get tripped up there. They're not going to call anything. Just a normal battle. But there's Moran sending it across to Coughlin. Coughlin, he had a lane, opted not to shoot. And that's a smart play. They know they've got time. He doesn't have to rush this one as his team was already in transition. Sends that one low. Cochran cuts across. And they can't find that one there. Travis Morrison battling hard, but sends that one across instead. Moran, low shot. You can see why he's the leading scorer for this team. Certainly looking dangerous out there every time he's got the ball. And a good shoulder there from Moran trying to slow this play up. And not getting out of the zone quick enough, so Owen Sound has possession. Yeah, the Pacers have a couple guys playing uh, at the back door, and here we go, they're gonna give him another penalty, so. Uh, oh, and another They're one. gonna get two calls on this play, so it looks like perhaps one too many men. Uh, you know what, like it's. Uh, so there's one too many men call, and then after that call was, uh, delayed there was a slashing call as well so the player you see there on your screen he's getting a slashing call that's uh, number 14 yeah and, uh, again unless these are blatant you know too many men calls they're getting a little carried away and really taking the, any kind of flow out of this game whatsoever and then on the other hand creating you know more frustration for a team that's had a long season and uh Generally, tempers will then uh, get a little hot, and uh, the referees may be creating more than they bargained for. Yeah, certainly not a uh, not a crash course in game management. And Owen Sound struggling a little bit here, moving the ball, trying to get set up. Arnold sends that back door. Owen Sound can't pick it up. Thompson able to find it, and a few uh, really. Incomplete passes there. Yeah, that was a good stick by, again, uh, Ryder Haynes. He did a good job getting the stick in the lane, deflected it by uh, Carter Moran, and it led to a 30-second violation. Stewart sends that across. Hard shot for Moran. And another goal there. Moran's going to score. The, the uh, referee was not very animated on that one. It looked like maybe he was calling possession back the other way. No, in fact, it was in, so that's going to be Moran's third of the game. And Picking up a hat trick here with about uh, well, 35 minutes or, or 25 minutes of play, rather. You can see and that, uh, that's going to come off the major, I think. So uh, we're still going to be sitting here with a, I think, 117 at two man advantage. So that'll be the second goal that came off the major, handed out to 77. Graham Armstrong after that little altercation off the draw with uh, with Elliot Thompson. Thompson winning that one forward and Kruger picking it up. So all three players remaining in the box here for the Pacers for at least another minute or so. And a hard shot. Noah Hemstock finding the back of the net. It's becoming a bit of a shooting gallery here at the Bay Shore and J.D. MacArthur Arena. So this, we're gonna see who comes out of the box here. And no player has stood up yet in the box. Uh, both referees talking right now, trying to figure out what has to go on. And Yeah, I think they've messed this whole thing up with the second goal off the major. He should have been released, although he may still have to finish the duration of his penalty before he can come out, but uh, they did not take that penalty off the board. So instead so now they... they're, well now they're letting them out now. So they're uh, a goal late on that one. 
They're gonna and our, and uh, they're gonna yeah. throw a stick to the bench. He's gonna get a new stick, and then they're <laughs> sending him back to the box, <laughs> and they're instead going to release uh, number 14 there, and uh, Graham Armstrong will go back to the box. So referees are yeah, and I I think. Armstrong's penalty should have to come off. He should only be one man down, but uh, uh, nothing has gone in the Pacers' direction today, so I don't know that this is going to be any different. So referee DeBrone is at the bench trying to explain what's going on. Meanwhile, referee Brown still talking to the scorekeeper trying to actually figure out what's going on. So. Maybe one conversation needs to happen before the other, but we will see what happens in uh, the coming moments in this game. A little animated there, but coaches aren't overly fired up. Yeah, I, I think they're going to be one. Well, again, I'm not even going to say anything. Cause, <laughs> cause All we know. 70, they've scored three goals on 77 well in the box, so that should uh, negate his penalty. Somehow 14, I think, escaped the box not long ago. Uh, yeah, currently two Pacers are in the box. Referee Brown back to the center floor. And they're going to bring a fourth player out. So they will be down by one. The major penalty remains in the box. No man disadvantage for that. So he will, looks like, finish out the remaining time in his penalty, but they will uh, not have to play a man down for him. So Owen Sound will be up a man for about a minute, and uh, the North Stars are going to be given possession here. So I'm sure that we will see a little bit of frustration from this. Hard rush there, a good shot by, by uh, Travis Morrison. So that was a long stoppage of play. Both teams looking uh, no worse for wear. Coglin to Morrison, across Moran. Finds Coglin in front, and he finds the back of the net. There we go, Joel Coglin. That is gonna be point number 20 on the season for him. We've got an interview with him coming up in the uh, second intermission, and that'll uh, that'll be a piece of relevancy for us. Yeah, here we get a little bit of ball movement, swinging the ball from the right side to the left, and then we get a little cut there from the right side, and uh, Carter Moran hits him right in the stick, and uh, Joe Coglin makes no mistake bearing it. So both teams now are back to uh, five men on the floor. And uh, number 77, Graham Armstrong, is still in the box. He's finishing up the, uh, the penalty and will be released likely here at the next stoppage of play. So here goes Zack Snyder up the floor for the Pacers, trying to set a different pace here in uh, the second period. And Get their uh, get their team on the board a little more here. So Owen Sound currently leading nine to two. Long shot there. It's going to go wide. Yeah, again, not much happening on the offensive front here for the Pacers. The ball tends to land in one stick. Uh, they try to go one-on-one -on -one for a while and then retreat to somebody up high, and uh, they take a long shot you know, down near the end of the shot clock without much result. Yeah, we've seen a few times here, and Arnold cutting to the front, low shot, and he finds the back of the net right between the twig and the foot. Curtis Arnold. Sending that one in low and bouncing in. So good work there from uh, Curtis Arnold. I believe that's his second of the game. So we'll uh, keep yeah. our, our hat trick watch on him. 
Again, that's his patented hard drive to the net. And after uh, being thwarted on a wide open goal down on the crease early in the game, he's uh, managed to uh, sneak a couple in uh, where he didn't have much room here to get himself two goals this period. So Owen Sound leading now 10 to two, picking up eight goals in the second period with three minutes still left to play. A good pass here. Hard shot from Moran, who's already got three. Kruger picking it up in front. Can't find the back of the net. Back up to Morrison. Morrison slows things down here. Sends that down low. Finds his brother. Good shot there. Can't get it to go. Coglin trying to slow the play down. And Graham Armstrong back on the floor after a long five minutes in the box for him and gets a good pass away. Yeah, that was a good look. Plater had to make a nice save up top to... Uh... And the North Stars here in transition. Two on one. Sends that up for Moran. Moran, hard shot off the post. A great pass from Calvin Stewart, able to get it over the defender. And Moran with a, a great scoop. And can't find that one, so they're going to call that one... Uh, yeah, Pacers... Pacers possession off Moran and up out of play. He was too wide open. I think he might have been looking to go to the net before he got the ball in his pocket and uh, hit the top of his stick and up into the roof. Hard to blame him when he's uh, found the net three times already. He's just feeling it. And that's Ethan Kerr down on the floor after a really sketchy looking play there. And it doesn't look like we'll get a call, but uh, we will get a stoppage in play, and Owen Sound will get the ball. So Thompson bringing this one up into the offensive zone. And falling down there, and they're gonna, gonna say there was a little bit of contact there with uh, Holden Stevenson, maybe a, a, a foot there kind of stepping out and takes him down. So the Pacers with the ball now, and in the offensive zone, looking for any kind of spark of life here. Jackson Lucas sends that back. Stewart with the pick, cuts to the middle. And a penalty here against Owen Sound. And we're gonna get a bit of a, oh, just a little couple of handshakes there in the crease and nobody too upset. Just some hard battles and things like that tend to happen when you've got uh, players going hard and looking for goals, so. And the Pacers pick one up here on the back. That might have uh, been a bit of an unnecessary call. I'm not sure if we have a camera on that, but we'll certainly get a look here at the first penalty. And, and uh, if we are lucky, we'll, we'll get a look at the second one too. So a, a holding call on Owen Sound and a roughing call well after the play on, uh, so we'll get a look here. This looks like this will be the, uh, the second call. Top of the screen there. So Owen Sound gets a bit of a shove and kind of getting up in his face. And, and you can see, so the third man in, he's gonna come and shove him. I don't know if that's- Yeah, that's, uh, that is, uh, that's pretty soft in a 10-2 game where you got a team that's just about to erupt uh, with frustration. And uh, yeah, I don't, uh, he could have easily let that go and carried on with the game. But they'd rather drag this one out today. Yeah, referees uh, sometimes uh, making the game a little bit more about the calls than the game. Well, I think you touched on it earlier, game management. And that certainly, uh, you know, I mean, you know, there has, hasn't been anything egregious to uh, call, but they certainly have uh, could have turned the other way on a couple of these too many man penalties and even that little shove as a as a rough and just uh, let's get this thing over with and uh, on to the third period and uh, let two teams uh, move along to the next game. All right. So the referees, it looks like they're gonna they're gonna figure out the mistake they made here. We're actually gonna play four on three, not five on four. So that penalty call that you saw on the replay at the top of your screen. Uh, they took both the North Star player and the Pacer player. So maybe two soft calls, but they evened it up and both of them will go. And, and I suppose that's a better outcome than just one. 
Moran here with the ball. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Happy to just wait this one out, but he's gonna cut to the front of the net, see if he can reset the clock here. Low shot there, goes wide, can't find the back of the net. So the Pacers here, they've got a chance with 40 seconds left, a man advantage. Adam, across to Snyder. Snyder looking over. Pacers send that low for Lucas. Back up high. Find Snyder, low shot. Good save by Plater, but doesn't see his rebound. And they're going to say uh, Owen Sound stepped into the crease. So, Yeah, I think Travis Morrison was inside the crease, but you can't reach outside of the crease unless you're the goaltender to draw that in. So that was the backing call. And uh, back to the Pacers. And a good save there from Plater, but can't manage his rebound. We've got five seconds left here. There's one last chance for Snyder. Cuts in, a second left, long shot. Good save there by Miles Plater. So a whirlwind of a period there. We saw eight goals on the side of Owen Sound, one goal on the side of Point Edward. Uh, tensions are high in this period right now. Uh, we will wait and see what happens in the third period. The referees have a little bit of work to do if they want to keep this one uh, a little bit more manageable and, and tempers under wraps. Yeah, I think, you know, if the Pacers had been in a position where they've won a few games, things might not be uh, as what they could end up being. But again, anytime you're a team that's winless and, and the things start going bad for you in a game and, and not necessarily due to they really haven't been undisciplined outside of the bench management with the too many men calls and they come out on the short end of a lot of ticky tack calls really you know certainly plays uh, in disfavor with the players and it only takes one to sort of you know take it to the next level and we've had a few minor little scuffles but nothing uh, nothing major to this point so but i'm sure if owen sound goes to the power play every possession in the third period Similar to the second, uh, that may even change some attitudes. Well, we'll head into the break here, and we'll be right back with an interview with number 14, Owen Sound North Stars, Joel Codlin. Don't forget to tune in to Great County Life on Rogers TV next week. We're going to be talking to Tim Nichols Harrison from the Owen Sound Library. Connection. We all need it. We live for it. It makes us feel like we're a part of something bigger. It makes us laugh, cry, and scream out for the world to hear. Connecting Canadians has been our focus for over 60 years, and it's just the beginning. to know about what's going on in your town this week. Get plugged in. Welcome back to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center in J.D. MacArthur Arena. I'm joined here by Owen Sound North Stars number 14, Joel Coughlin. Joel, the North Stars are coming off a couple of one-goal losses here. What do you guys need to do this afternoon to flip the script and come away with the win? We need to find a way to win, um, whether that's getting to the dirty areas on offense, it's keeping guys out of our house on defense. we got to kind of up the intensity a little bit and the urgency when we're with the ball and, and without it. Coming into this game at 19 points, is that weighing on you at all? Do you want to hit that 20 mark? What do you think you need to do tonight? 
Yeah, I'm not paying too much attention to points. Um, I've been in a little scoring slump, but it's nice to have a couple fall for me. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking to get on the score sheet, but like all the guys I know, most of us are. So, yeah. Awesome. And Joel, can you give us and, and the viewers at home just a little look into the life of a Junior B OLA player and let us know a little bit about your pregame routine. Pre-game routine uh, starts with big breakfast, lots of eggs, but most of it's water. I start drinking water the moment I wake up, and you gotta on a hot arena like this, you gotta be ready. So, uh, staying mentally focused, you know, no phones in the room, that kind of stuff. But you know, just showing up ready to play mentally. Awesome, water, eggs, and staying off that device. Well, I hope you stay on yours and stick around for the next period of play here at the Bayshore Community Center. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the booth here at JD MacArthur Arena. I'm joined here by Steve McCarthy. Steve, that was uh, just about as opposite of a period that we could have had from the first. Yeah, uh, things kind of really fell off the rails for the Pacers. Uh, found themselves in a massive hole with penalty trouble. Uh, you know, mismanagement on the bench, unfortunately, led to a lot of uh, too many man calls. And uh, yeah, no one's sound really had their way. How, uh, how much do the referees play a part in how these games go? Well, again, uh, you know, we commented during the play that some of these too many man calls were, they kind of had guys maybe getting to the bench a little slow. I don't think in any case where they were sending anybody real early, it was just a matter of the back, the trailers coming off the floor were lallygagging a little and not getting there, but it really had no influence on the play. And sometimes you'd like to see the referees, certainly in a game where, you know, it's uh, it's almost out of reach already to, to sort of, you know, get them to, hey, well, let's pick that up. I'm not going let, to we'll let it go this time and, and work with the bench. And uh, that hasn't been the case. And they've, I think, probably sent them to the man short five times with too many men. So. Well, certainly a hole that seems very daunting for uh, the visiting team, not one they're likely to pull out of. How do you approach a period like this where the game feels so out of reach, maybe not lost yet, but what are the ref or what are the coaches rather saying to this Pacers team right now? Well, I, you know what? I don't know what you can really say. The kids will be disheartened on a, you know, a winless season to, to this point and after playing a, a real good, tough first period where they uh, you know, were right in the game and chance for chance with Owen Sound. Um, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a hike home. You just got to ask them to, you know, give it everything they have every time out. Just try to win little battles, do little things right. And uh, if they can win the period, it'd be a little moral victory for them. And uh, just to be ready to come out the next time they play and, and try to get that elusive first win. Well, we are looking forward to seeing how both teams respond after a chippy and high scoring second period. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back on Rogers TV with the third period of play. Hi, 
I'm David Sherman, host of Politically Speaking. Join me for my next show where my guest will be Sue Carlton, the mayor of Georgian Bluffs. Politically Speaking on Rogers TV. Looking for the best way to get the Major League Baseball games you want to watch? Rogers Super Sports Pack has you covered. With MLB Extra Innings, you'll have a premium ticket to out-of-market regular season games with all games available in HD. Don't miss the action from the games you want from both the American and National Leagues. MLB Extra Innings, part of the Super Sports Pack. For only $35.95 a month, Rogers customers get all this for one all-inclusive price. Order using your remote starting on Channel 431 or visit Rogers.com today. Online betting is booming. Booyah! Woo! Oh, yeah! You can win big! But you could also lose. There is risk with online gambling, and that's a reality nobody's shouting about. Learn about safer play at knowtherisks.ca. Every year, dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit StopTrackTragedies.ca. It's pretty close, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bayshore Community Centre. We'd like to thank Pizza Hut one more time here for all of the refreshments and pizza and drinks that they have provided the crew here on Rogers TV at the Bay Shore. If you'd like to order from Pizza Hut, you can call them at 519-371-5660 or visit their website at www.pizzahut.ca. And I think we'll take a quick look here at some of the scoring leaders in the OLA Junior B League. Up at the top of the leaderboard, we've got Marcus Keller with Guelph, and currently no North Stars on this list, but Carter Moran with three goals, four assists, seven points here this afternoon. Uh, coming into this game with 42 points, he finds himself now at 49, so he is close to uh, breaking this top 10. He's got a little bit more work to do, and uh, certainly the way this game has gone so far, there is a chance that that could, in fact, happen. So both teams are taking the floor. And uh, getting the respective players that they need in the box. Owen Sound starting this period with only three players. And the Pacers starting with four. So Thompson and Armstrong will line up at the faceoff dot. Both teams trying to cheer them on there, banging their sticks against the boards. And Owen Sound, being a man short, they're going to pick this one up. And Braden Kruger brings it into the offensive zone. Happy to kill the last few seconds of this power play. So they've got about 15 seconds left here on the shot clock to do a little bit of work, perhaps at least kill off most of the penalties. And Jordan Cochran doing a great job here, twisting and turning, staying alive, throws that in. And that's gonna go wide, the shot clock will run out and the Pacers are gonna take their time here, let the ball go as far down as they can get it. And it looks like we actually do in fact have a goalie change, so the Pacers Bringing out former Owen Sound North Star William Hellier, number 39 for, uh, for the Pacers. So William Hellier making his debut back home at Owen Sound, however, on the visiting team. So Hellier looking to shut the door and be part of an answer for this Pacers team. It'll be interesting to see how Owen Sound responds, of course, having Hellier on their team for much of the season so far and maybe knowing a little bit of his play style, perhaps they can uh, make the most of that information. Of course, Hellier practicing with these guys, knows their habits, their techniques, and will do his best to help out his new Point Edward Pacers team.
Pacers bringing this one slowly into the offensive zone. Sending that low was Lucas. Back up to Lucas. Low again. Twisting and turning. Brumpton gets it to the front of the net, but can't get a hard shot away. And now the North Stars are going to head up the floor. And too many men on the offensive. So Owen Sound not going to get a penalty, but the ball will go over back to the Pacers side. So Adam bringing this one in. And Adam sends that one a little bit wide. Nobody can quite get to it on the Pacers team. And Stewart trying to pick this one up for Owen Sound, able to get a stick on it. And he will run this into the offensive zone. So he'll stay out there on the attack for a little while. Calvin Stewart sends that over to Moran. Carter Moran sends that low. Unable to handle it, rushing now. Able to get his body there, but can't get a good stick on it. Now Arnold picks it up, sends it in low. Stewart there in front of the net, can't pick it up. And now Bryce Martin with it, twisting and turning in the corner. A great deke out in front. And a good shot there, but can't get it to go. Fantastic effort there from Bryce Martin. Showing his slipperiness there down in the offensive zone. Carter Moran staying out. He will transition off the floor now and bring out another defender. Sends that one down low. Adams across. And uh, shot clock will run out, so Owen Sound picks this one back up. Owen Pryor across. Finds its way up to Calder Adams. Adams flips that one over to Joel Coglin, who has his uh, first goal in a little while and 20th point of the season here this afternoon. Cochran with it. Cochran twisting, turning, loses it there on the doorstep. And that ball is going to go to the Pacers. So picking that one back up is Carter Hawkins. And he promptly ran right through his own crease to uh, get a back in call and Owen Sound will retake possession. Bit of a brain cramp there by the young man and uh, he's just gonna be a little headier when he's uh, trying to elude his checker. Tyson Morrison finds Cochran. Good shot there from Moran. And the Pacers Trying to play with a little bit more intensity. Graham Armstrong sends that up for Zack Snyder. Snyder slowing things down here. Lets his team back out. Good pick there. Wraps it around, sends it low. Good shot. Yeah, that was a good attempt by the Pacers. Run a little two-man game there. Snyder made a nice pass. But uh, Claytor was up for the challenge. Granger Cox sends that over, finds Jordan Cochran. Jordan Cochran's had a real strong game today. Looked real confident. A little flip pass there. It's a little errant that's going to give uh, Schneider a chance here in transition. In all alone, Schneider with the shot. And they're going to call a slashing play here on Owen Sounds. So. On that uh, breakaway, unfortunately, Tyson Morrison taking a penalty there. So we'll have another uh, another penalty kill in this game. Not a whole lot of five-on-five -five play. We saw maybe a couple of minutes of it in the second period. I'm not even sure if we got a full two minutes of it, but again, it's a pretty pretty soft call on a slash. But uh, it, you know, for the Pacers' sake, it didn't go against them this time. So uh, they'll try their luck on the man up. And a good stick there. Owen Sound now with the ball, sending it up in all alone. Kruger shot. Good save by William Hellier. Yeah, pretty lackadaisical effort by uh, Zach Snyder trying to get back there and transition. His body language isn't real positive right now. At the, you know, obviously uh, feeling the effects of an 0 in 13 or 14 season, but uh, as a leader here, he's got to put a better example up. Uh, long shot there from Snyder and a good stick there from Adams, able to break up that pass from Miles Plater. Finds Snyder again. 
Snyder looking like he wants another long shot and gets blocked by his own teammate there, but able to get the shot away. And Thompson with it up the floor, sends a long pass up. Can't find his man and Pacers picking this back up, getting pressure from Curtis Arnold, sending that up now to Graham Armstrong. Armstrong rolls that ball over. And Jackson Lucas is gonna pick it up for his team. Flips that over, finds Adams. Adams to Lucas. Adams sends that across. In front, and a good save there. Plater getting big. Well, that was actually a nice little pass in the middle. They couldn't, uh, couldn't make it work, but a uh, good idea. They had the guy standing all alone in front, but uh, could not execute it. Now you're gonna get a little bit of pressure put on by Owen Sound, understanding that uh, Pacers have a hard time, you know, getting the ball going on offense. So Pacers are gonna have this one roll all the way back. Thompson is gonna be able to pick this one up. And he's gonna slow things down here wisely. They don't have to rush this game. They are in the driver's seat for sure. So Moran comes on, gets the ball, cuts to the middle, looking for number four. Good shot right into the bread basket though of William Hellier, who's been good so far here in the third period, keeping his team in this one as much as he can. Hemstock cutting to the front, hard shot. And Hellier saving that one. Yeah, he found himself running in the traffic there. He didn't get much on the shot, but again, Hellier stood tall, corralled it into his belly pad, and uh, away we go and transition the other way for Pacers. So Snyder slowly into the offensive zone. Both teams five on five now. And Kruger able to hold on to this and gets a pass away still. Mitch Stevens unable to win that foot race. Looking for his first point of the season as well. And a lot of speed there from Ryder Haynes, just outrunning anybody who tries to get on him. Yeah, Ryder Haynes, a new addition here to this uh, Point Edward Pacers club, and uh, he's certainly not looked out of place. He's been one of the stronger performers for them today, and uh, you know, I'm sure he's found a home. And Snyder with a hard shot there off the post, and he's gonna keep running, follow through, and take down an Owen Sound player. So Owen Sound giving possession now. They're gonna have to pick it up and start down in the corner. With it is Calder Adams, who's gonna Swing all the way up top here and find Cochran. Sends that across. Curtis Arnold. Coglin tries to set a pick. Back to Coglin. Long shot off the defender. That'll keep the clock ticking here. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Low shot there. Owen Sound picking up the rebound. Can't find it. Back with it. Resets the clock so they can take their time. Cochran cuts to the middle. Around the back. Finds it. Low shot. That one is off the uh, crossbar. That went bar down, and uh, it was very close to actually being underneath and inside the goal line, but then Baxman spun it out, so it's hard to tell from here, but... Uh, Certainly looked like a close one. I think yep. uh, at our next break, we'll try to take another look at that. But Hellier is still... Uh, Still putting up a zero this period, and good for him. Hellier, I'm sure, doing his best to make sure that Owen Sound scratches their head and wonders why they ever let him go. Zach Snyder with the ball now. Offensive zone. Swings around, finds a lane, loses it. Can't pick it back up. Good defensive work there by Ethan Kerr. And Plater swinging this way over the head there of Owen Pryor, who can't get there in time. And Ryder Haynes, with his speed, able to get back in time, and he's gonna take this ball, and up he goes. Oh, that's a real, real cheesy call and interference on a pick set up there to allow, uh, 
a lot of Ryder Haynes to uh, get up and transition. Again, probably not a call that needs to be made in a 10-2 game. On oh, sound, Moran swings up top. Morrison cuts to the middle, shot. Good save there by William Hellier. Owen Sound will be given possession. The ball does trickle into the net, but well after the whistle. Morrison sends that across Moran. And now the ball will go back the other way. So lots of whistles in this game. And the Pacers. Now with possession, looking to head up the floor. Adams fakes a couple of passes, keeps it, sends it down into the corner. Back up to Adams. Swings, long shot there and a great save by Miles Plater. Later, sending that up and right out of play. Not to anybody, tries to get it over the stick of Connor Adams, who did a great job there at, at uh, being a little bit of a pest in Miles Plater's face and is able to win the ball for his team. So Zach Snyder with it in the offensive zone. And another whistle, Owen Sound now being given the ball. So taking it is Carter Moran, who's in all alone. Shot. And a great save by William Hellier. And the ball's back the other way now. Yeah, they really seem to be, uh, referees are taking any kind of aggressive picks out of the game here today. And I don't know the name of real aggressive, but any kind of, any kind of contact in the back, they've been making the call. Very hard hit there from Travis Morrison, able to put a stop to that rush. And now Owen Sound, three on one, tries to get this back door. High shot, makes the pass and off the helmet there of William Hellier. Owen Sound just couldn't make anything happen there. And yeah, the three it. on one, he, uh, he and the defender handled it pretty well. So. Morrison getting blocked there. And Cochran looking, cuts to the middle. Has a lane, takes a shot, and Hellier with another big save. He'll flip that up, and now we've got a foot race. Ryder Adams, he's been good all game. Shot, and he scores! The Pacers get their third goal of the game. Ryder Adams, rather Ryder Haynes, picking that one up. They're gonna keep that ball for his uh, first goal with this Pacers team, so good work. Ryder Haynes, we had an interview with him in the first intermission there. You can see him, what a what a reception there off that pass. And when he gets going, he just has speed that beats everybody else out on the floor. Yeah, Hellier did a heads up play off the save, threw it up top and uh, yeah, Haynes reached back with, to make that catch on, and didn't lose his stride and just pulled away from the defenders. and. Uh, Good on him for uh, putting it home because he's he's uh, been a breath of fresh air for this team today, no doubt. Uh, playing one, of, I'm not sure if this is his first game, but uh, he's certainly uh, been a welcome addition and uh, showed great effort and great speed in transition. Absolutely, yeah. Ryder Haynes with a great run, and I'm sure his uh, his teammates are a big fan of his at the moment. Noah Hemstock behind the back. Carter Moran, across, back to Moran, able to pull that one down, and it loses that one. North Star's picking it up, and there'll be a change of possession here, so the Pacers will get the ball. So Ryder Haynes, able to get his first goal with the Pacers team, second point with them, and in his, uh, in his eighth game with the club now. Played seven already. And the Pacers just uh, yep. continue to show an inability to be able to get that ball inside and they just don't have enough skill to, to uh, create anything, uh, uh, you know, from the outside. So we've had a tough go today. 
only three goals. One off the backboard and one in a breakaway on transition. So uh, their offense leaves a little bit of desire without uh, Brett Vince in the lineup. Oh, and Sound right out in front and a good goal there from Curtis Arnold. A one-timer and he's able to beat former teammate William Hellier who's been really, really good in this period. Shutting the door in multiple attempts, even picking up an assist. You can see he's still got that old uh, North Star sticker on his helmet. Yeah, it was just Curtis Arnold uh, went up high, was able to beat his defender to the net. He received the pass and all in one motion let her go and uh, he beat Hellier for uh, Hellier's first goal against in this game. In with it is Zack Snyder, twisting and turning, sends that low, Adams with it. Adams playing this slow, swinging to the middle, Looking for a long shot. Can't get that one to go, and it's going to bounce back and towards center floor. And Owen Sound picking this one up. Granger Talk shot and right in the bread basket. So Granger Talk still with zero goals on the season, and I'm sure he'll be dreaming about uh, trying that one again. Yes, with accuracy like that, it, it's uh, not a big surprise. That was right in the middle of the P for the Pacers, but a great effort to pick up the loose ball and create that opportunity, and they'll just need to work on his finish. A good cut across there from Zack Snyder, and uh, the Pacers will be given the ball with five minutes left to play in this third period. Down low for the Pacers. And tries to send that one to the boards where there's been some luck so far. And just a, a bit of an undisciplined play there as uh, the Pacers step into the crease as they try to make a pass happen over the net. So Calder Adams, he's going to uh, flip this over to Jordan Cochran and he'll head to the bench. So Cochran with the ball. Cochran has room now. And that shot's gonna go wide. Not much happening there. And here goes Ryder Haynes with some of that speed we've seen already. He'll slow things down and let his team come out onto the floor and he'll stay here on offense. Adams with it. Sends that across to find Stewart. Adams with the shot off the off the helmet, it looked like, uh, maybe right past the net. So. Yeah, they didn't give him credit for a shot, so they're going to get a violation here, and Owen Sound's going to have a two on nothing. And the referee did him a big favor, the Pacers, by not blowing it indirectly. And Morrison unable to get to the net there, but knocks that one loose. And trying to pick up the rebound, can't quite get it, and the Pacers will bring this one up the floor. Owen McDermott with it. Sends it across, Moran trying to get his stick in the way. Armstrong with the ball. Sends that across, finds Snyder. Snyder loses that one. And good work from Kruger. Emotions running a little bit high here. Sends that low, finds Moran. Cutting across is Bryce Martin. Martin has a couple options here. Moran holds it. Sends it across for Coglin. Coglin low for Moran who finds the five hole and gets his fourth goal of the game. That's point number eight for Carter Moran here this evening. And again, that's just moving and working without the ball. He dished it off, didn't just stand and watch, got to work, cut behind his, uh, off a nice little pick. It was all alone and made no mistake. Nice job by Holden Stevenson to, uh, to run a little backdoor pick up top and uh, Carter Moran followed right around and uh, had nothing but daylight. So William Hellier letting in two there against his former team. Yeah, that's probably one guy he didn't want to have to face too many times. 
And he stopped him earlier on a breakaway, and it looked like Carter Moran looked back over his shoulder and had a word for him that he'd get him next time, and indeed he did. So. so the Pacers here, game feeling a little bit out of reach with two minutes left. Certainly it would be a, uh, a miracle, but they're looking to try to set up some good habits that they can build on and go into their next game looking for that first W. Owen oh, Sound bringing that out. Calvin Stewart sends that across. Finds Calder Adams. Finds Noah Hemstock. Hemstock over to Coglin. Coglin cuts to the front. Shot and he scores again. Yeah, that was quite a move he put on. Gave him a little look to the outside and pulled it back inside and found himself all alone in front. He was able to beat Hellier on the stick side over the shoulder. Now, I don't know if interviews are good luck, but I do think it's pertinent to point out that both players who we interviewed uh, this evening have uh, scored for their respective teams. So, Joel Coughlin getting two after a bit of a, a scoring slump that he uh, was talking about a little bit in his interview there. And uh, Ryder Haynes getting his first goal as well with his new team, which he was talking about in his interview. So we'll uh, see if this trend continues. Thompson with the face-off dot, and Owen Sound picking that one up. Calvin Stewart holding it, letting his team get out onto the floor and rolls that across for Holden Stevenson. Stevenson sends that to Coglin. Back over finds Cochran. Cochran finds Arnold. Arnold cuts to the middle, hard shot there on Hellier and a good save. Arnold with it. And he cuts around his defender right out in front. Good shot. And Stevenson can't get a stick in for the crease to pick that one up. So Hellier with a good save there. And the Pacers, 41 seconds left to play in this period. Zack Snyder will bring it up into the offensive zone. I'm sure a little bit disappointed this evening. A long shot there. And uh, fighting for the rebound along the boards, Pacers are able to pick it up, so good for them, and try to get a backdoor pass, but can't get the shot away on that. Sends that up high. Checking the uh, clock there is Zach Snyder to see how much time they've got left, and there is just as much time left on the shot clock as there is in the game. And Owen Sound resetting that clock and holding it for the last two seconds of the game. And the North Stars coming away with a big win here at the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center in J.D. MacArthur Arena in tonight's OLA match between the Owen Sound North Stars and the Point Edward Pacers. Owen Sound coming away with a 13-3 victory. Facing former goaltender William Hellier for three goals in the third period. And uh, chasing out Austin Dalgetty after 10 Solid goals by the North Stars, so both teams here will uh, line up, and William Hellier will lead the handshake, it looks like, and gives uh, his former teammate there, Miles Plater, a, a good handshake, and all his team, or his former team, rather, looking on fondly and giving him some nods and, and pats as he goes through. Well, a good game there from Owen Sound, finding their rhythm offensively, finally. Uh, a little bit of help there by uh, the referees and a few a few goals that perhaps could have gone uh, may not have happened had the referees not been as prolific in their calls as they have been this game. But nonetheless, those uh, those kind of games happen and teams need to be ready for it. You can see both teams getting off the floor there, and we're back up in the booth here. My name is Nick Kennedy. I'm joined here by my co-host Steve McCarthy. Uh, Steve, a, a good game for Owen Sound. I guess not a not a great game for Point Edward. No, I mean, it was a good result for Owen Sound. I think, you know, the first period, they might have been a little overconfident. 
Uh, you know, they, again, aided with a lot of power play opportunities in the second. They put it out of reach. And uh, in the third, they, uh, you know, they, they dominated. Again, the Pacers kind of ran out of gas. Too short on offense to really sustain any kind of uh, prolonged effort there. And, uh, you know, the score was indicative of the play. So, uh, you know, a good two points for them. And they, as they uh, hope to solidify at least seventh place and, uh, and maybe uh, take a run at Hamilton. Although with losing twice to them, it's unlikely they'd have a tiebreaker situation. But nonetheless, uh, they want to stay ahead of Cambridge here and uh, make sure they're, uh, they're in it once the regular season's over. Absolutely. Carter Moran coming away with... I believe eight points there in that game. A, a great game by him. He's working his way back up the scoreboard. He, he hasn't been uh, getting maybe as many points as he was hoping for this year, but still doing solid. I think he's going to walk out of this game at uh, the 50 point mark. So about eight away from that top 10 spot. Yeah, I mean, he was uh, obviously dominant today. And, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, again, uh, Owen Sound really relies on, on Carter. And sometimes his teammates uh, might get a little mesmerized with the fact that he, you know, does have the ball in his stick a lot and, uh, and, and don't necessarily. Uh, get active enough to get themselves involved with uh, with throwing a pick or running back door or something where they can contribute off ball. So, uh, but again, today they, you know, they 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 did dominate their opponent once they got a, a rhythm going and Carter Moran was the centerpiece of that. Absolutely. Well, both teams uh, playing hard, battling hard, of course. Uh, Pacers not quite getting the result they were looking for. North Stars coming away with a, a big win that I'm sure they've been dreaming about for a couple of games after two back-to-back one-goal losses. They are able to find their groove and pull ahead by 10 goals as they pick up the win here on this lovely Saturday in Owen Sound. We will uh, see you soon for our next OLA Junior B match and here tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock we will be on uh, Rogers TV for the senior B North Stars as they take on the Six Nations Rivermen. So we will see you here on Rogers TV. I'm Nick Kennedy and this is my co-host Steve McCarthy and we will see you soon. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. Are you the type who would keep going or stop? It's not easy to stop when you have an addiction. Legalizing cannabis won't stop addiction. It trivializes its consumption. Let's be vigilant. If you need help, visit portage.ca. Connection. We all need it. We live for it. It makes us feel like we're a part of something bigger. It makes us laugh 